Hello, I'm Elizabeth O'Shea and I'd like to talk about turning parenting on its head. Some of the things we do naturally as parents aren't helping our children and it's useful to look at things that might help our children to grow and to learn. So for instance, one of the things we do as parents is to ignore our children when they do the right thing and to comment every time they do the wrong thing. So we give attention for the wrong thing our children do rather than motivating them by noticing all the good things they do. Something else we do is when children have big emotions we tend to negate them by denying their feelings. How many times have you said to your child, Look, don't worry you're going to love it when you get there? Instead of saying, sounds like you're really worried about going to this party, sounds like you're nervous about what's going to happen there. Because that shows empathy, it shows you being alongside your child instead of doing things like denying their feelings or taking the other person's side or telling them off for having a big emotion. And when you empathise with a child it makes them feel heard and understood and much more likely to be able to get through that emotion well. Something else we do is when our children we know that our children are likely to misbehave, we, we don't ever prepare them. We just keep our fingers crossed and hope they're going to behave. But it's so useful for a child if you can talk them through what's going to happen and ask them lots of questions about how you expect them to behave and how they might feel and how they're going to handle that feeling and what they need to do. Another thing is children come to us with problems and for some reason we seem to think if a child tells us a problem we should give them the answer, we should tell them what to do, we should give them advice. What we should be doing is helping our children think of solutions because when they're in the playground or away from the house they're not going to have you to go to so we need to be helping our children to explore lots of solutions and then work out which one they want to try. Another thing we do is when our children make mistakes, we try to protect them from it. So when our children forget things at school, we take them to the school. When our children won't wear their coat, we carry their coat under our arm. Rather than helping them learn from poor choices and mistakes that they make. One of the other things we do is when our children behave badly, we tell them off. We shout at them, we threaten them, we punish them, we nag them. Instead of that, what we should be doing is helping our children to learn from mistakes. So staying calm and then later on going and talking to them about what they did, helping them to make amends for what they did and then working through what they do differently the next time. And here's something else we do as parents. We try to do everything for our children because we think that makes us good parents. What we should be doing is making ourselves redundant. Our children need all the life skills by the time they're 18 and need to leave home. They need to have the values and the characteristics we want them to have. And they'll only do that if we encourage them to help, if we coach them through what they need to do, if we expect them to do things in the home. Our job is to make sure that our children become happy, well-balanced adults who are independent and capable of looking after themselves. And we need to be thinking about parenting with the end in mind, parenting with a purpose to make sure that that's what we achieve for our children. And I'd love to chat to you more about what we can do to help our children, things that we don't do naturally, but things that we need to do in order to help our children flourish and be able to fly the nest and be totally capable of everything we need them to be capable of doing.